So my model's only a little bit away from being good enough for production. For that last 2%, I'm gonna focus this week on using Bayesian hyperparameter team. No. And I realize most data scientists don't do error analysis, but it's important for our team to do this because we want to improve model performance, but also understand the limitations of our models. Take a look at this example. You'll see that the error is much higher when education is higher. So this is something we need to probe into and understand as part of error analysis. Is there a function I need to run? How do you do this? Let me show you how I do error analysis. When I was working on my image classification project, I looked at the errors my model was making. Was there an animal that was miscategorized? Was there something else going on in the image? Like was it blurry or did the annotator screw up and was the example mislabeled? How do I use this approach to make my model better? That's nice, but let me even show you one better. In the email classification model, I started by grabbing 100 mistakes the model was making. I looked at the category of the type of email, also what features made it hard to classify. By doing this, I could spend focus refining my model on groups like password emails and improving the punctuation pre-processing. So to communicate the findings back for Anne's model, what I do is often create a visualization like this. And this lets me walk our management through what are the steps we did that improve the model, but also where there's still some error and keeping us from getting to 100%. And some of it is irreducible. Annotators just don't disagree, but others, Maybe we can have some future projects to improve our pipelines for them. Ah, I see the error of my ways. 